Hi everyone, um, I'm presenting today some work uh, that has been the focus of me, Stefan Schweter and Timo Möller um, over the last few months. Uh, it is entitled Exploring BERT Pre-Training from Scratch. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to get right into it. Uh, we're going to be very focused on this BERT model, uh, which is work that comes from this paper, uh, the Pre-Training of Deep Bidirectional Transformers for Language Understanding and it was released by Jacob Devlin and his team at Google. Uh, this came out around November 2018. Uh, this is a transformer-based architecture that is trained using two tasks, the masked language modeling task and next sentence prediction. Uh, it has, since its release, formed the core of many classification, NER, and question answering systems, and uh, at the time of its release, performed very, very well on the GLUE benchmark. So the goal of our work is to train the best German BERT model that we can, but our models are certainly not the first German language models out there. Uh, before us came DeepSet German BERT and the DBMDZ German BERT, both of which are open sourced and available on the Hugging Face Transformers model hub. It's also worth mentioning at this point, uh, multilingual BERT and XLM, which comes from the team at Facebook as well as their scaled up version, XLMR. All this fits into a line of work uh, that looks to create language models for languages other than English. So for example, in French, there exists this uh, Camembert model, the Flaubert model, uh, in Finnish there's Finbert, in Italian there's Alberto, Umberto, Gilberto, and uh, you can see a much more comprehensive list of what there is on uh, this Bert Lang website. There are two more recent developments that our work capitalizes on, and uh, they're listed out here. There's whole word masking and also the Oscar data set. So in whole word masking, uh, there's a different masking regime used in the mask language model component of the Bert uh, training style. Instead of just masking out single subword tokens, in whole word masking, you would mask out all the tokens of a given word. And um, the authors report a significant improvement in performance when they use this. With the OSCAR data set, um, there's now available a pre-processed common crawl data set. There's been a lot of pre-processing going into that, uh, such as the removal of HTML tags and uh, of text being categorized by language. Um, the beauty of this is that it gives us 145 gigabytes of German text data and it's significantly larger than uh, the other data sets out there. So when we were training our models, we used the DBMDZ BERT as a baseline. We used its vocabulary, we um, started with its size um, and used the DBMDZ data sets. Um, on top of that, we trained four different models. So there's GBERT data, which follows DBMDZ, but adds OSCAR data. There's GBERT WWM, which adds whole word masking on top of the DBMDZ style. And then there's the GBERT data plus whole word masking, which adds both OSCAR data and whole word masking. And there's the GBERT large, which is a larger scale model uh, with whole word masking and the OSCAR data set. Whenever we train these models, we regularly save checkpoints and um, you can actually see a little table of the hyperparameters that we used for the base and the large models. Every checkpoint that we saved for every model is evaluated on three tasks. There's germ eval 18 coarse, germ eval 18 fine, and germ eval 14. You can see a table of the main details of each of these tasks in this slide. Um, but what I just want to point out is that germ eval 18, coarse and fine are both classification tasks, more specifically hate speech classification. And germ eval 14 is a named entity recognition task. We take three runs um, for each classification tasks to ensure a bit of performance stability. And we take the best run as the final one. And the final checkpoint that we take for our language model is the one that delivers the best results averaged over the three tasks. 
And here you can see the performance curves for each of our GBERT models. Uh, you can see how it improves over time with training. Um, and from these, uh, we essentially took the best point in each of these graphs to determine which would be our final checkpoint for that given model. So for example, in the first graph, we have GBERT data, and it was step uh, 3,900K, 3.9 million, which showed the best performance over all three tasks. And so we take that as the final checkpoint for GBOT data. Um, for whole word masking, we take the one at 1.5 million steps. For, the, for data plus whole word masking, it's the checkpoint at 2 million steps. And for GBOT large, we take the one at 900,000 steps. The performance of each of our GBOT model's best checkpoint on each of our evaluation tasks can be seen in this table. So in the top four rows, we see some baseline models, so multilingual BERT, DeepSet BERT, DBMDZ BERT, and XLM Roberta Large. And then the next four rows are the performance of the models that we trained. What I want to point out here is that GBERT Large gains state-of-the-art performance in Germ Eval 18 course, as well as Germ Eval 14. It also outperforms XLM Roberta Large in the averaged F1 score, reaching 73.57 compared to XLM Roberta's 73.18. Uh, it's also worth pointing out that these two models that I'm just mentioning now, GBERT Large and XLM Roberta Large, are significantly bigger than the rest of the models, which are of a base BERT size. Of those, I would like to pay attention, especially to GBERT data plus whole word masking, which reaches an averaged F1 of 72.35, which is better than all previous base-sized BERT models that handle German, and also the other base GBERT models that we trained. So returning back to the developments that we were interested in uh, that motivated this work, uh, when we're trying to investigate whether whole word masking has impact, we can compare this DBMDZ BERT with GBERT whole word masking, and here we see that the addition of whole word masking gives a 1.7% boost in average F1 performance. When comparing GBERT data to GBERT data plus whole word masking, we see a 2.38% increase in performance. And so there is consistent and significant positive impact by adding whole word masking, which corroborates what was reported by the authors of BERT. When looking at the OSCAR dataset, we see that DBMDZ is improved upon by GBERT data by a quarter of a percent uh, by adding this dataset, and GBERT whole word masking is improved upon by GBERT data plus whole word masking uh, to the order of 0.93%. And so here we can once again say that the OSCAR dataset gives a consistent positive impact, but a comparatively small one. So in conclusion, we're very happy to present our new German BERTs, which are best in their class in both base and large sizes. Uh, these will soon be uploaded to the Transformers Model Hub as GBERT Base and GBERT Large, so that uh, they can be openly accessed by anyone um, working with the repository. Uh, we're also proud to announce that in this work, we can verify that whole word masking and the addition of this uh, OSCAR dataset have positive impacts on model training. And we also hope that these uh, results uh, serve as important data points for other teams who are interested in training their language models from scratch. And uh, hopefully they can find a little bit of inspiration from this uh, to train more models for more languages for more uses. Thank you.